remember me? Long time no see. I am in my husband's deer blind. It is very well insulated in here. So I brought a blanket out and a warm beverage, but I don't think I'll need the blanket. Definitely need the caffeine right now. So got myself coffee, pumpkin spice flavor, of course, because <laughs> it's fall and there's no other reason other than pumpkin. Oh, I almost fell off the chair. I'm going to sit down in this little chair in this comfy, cozy little blind. And I am going to talk about everything that has changed because so much has changed since my last video and I don't even know where to begin I guess I guess let's begin because I don't have a script I don't have any outline I have just me and you so I guess we'll just start at where the last video ended same situation I was in a weird shed recording a video and it was thunderstorming and windy out and right now it's actually raining out and it's windy only difference is no thunderstorms. It's not summertime anymore. It is fall here in Michigan. Big changes. So after that last video, I believe it was a week, a week later that I found out I was expecting my second baby and it came to us at such a surprise. We were not expecting it. It changed everything. Okay. It changed everything. It had to include me becoming more pregnant so no more loft climbing up to bed idea and it had to include then a baby at one point and so that entire layout changed we ended up getting the cabin we ended up building it out my husband did an amazing job on it so it did turn out beautiful and flash forward to may of 2022 and i had my son and it was a very traumatic, crazy experience. You know, all birth stories are hectic and crazy and come to you at such a surprise no matter how much planning and prepping. And we brought him back home to this cabin. And I remember the first two weeks, um, we ended up having a Blackberry in our driveway in the broad daylight. And there was not very much room to play and our original plan was to clear a bunch of land but where that land was up in the up it's very very mucky it's very swampy so in order for us to level it we would have had to bring in a ton of fill dirt and stuff so we both we were driving one day my husband and i were going to a doctor's appointment for the baby he said to me, because we were trucking in water, we were going to a neighbor's to truck in water because we still didn't have our own well on our property. And he was like, I'm so tired of having to go to our neighbor's for water. And I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, we can just find property with a well. Like we don't have to do this. We don't, we don't, we don't have to make this the hard, we don't have to do this the hard way. So we both looked at each other and he was i was like you can find a place with a house and he's like i was thinking the same thing so we ended up going online looking for a house uh looking at a bunch of different properties we ended up finding a hobby farm with 40 acres and a house already on it and the house was in good shape not in bad shape or anything like that just you know this was built in the 80s so do with that information what what you will it was a little dated but we ended up driving down four hours was it four hours i don't know it was many many hours away we fell in love both of us and we both looked at each other after the showing and we're like we have to get this house <laughs> so my husband put in an offer we got the property and we got the house and mind you, my son was only, my second son was only, I don't know, three weeks old at the time. Like this, was, these decisions came very fast after he was born. We ended up moving in July from the UP down the state a bit, um, just a bit closer to family and a bit closer to civilization. Because if you have ever been up to the UP, and now I was not just like, you know, here's, here's Michigan trying to see which way, which hand it'll be. So here's Michigan, here's the UP. Um, which way is it gonna be flipped on? When I'm editing this, I have no idea, but just go with me here, okay? So the UP is like here, right? And everybody usually just kind of ventures right here in the UP. We were way up here, pretty much in Canada. 
I just didn't want to do it anymore. It was just, we I had that experience that we wanted to have with that. And we realized it just wasn't for us. So we just changed the plans, you know? So I'm just blabbing now. It was just a change of everything. Just being, being able to still be kind of isolated from society, but still be close enough to where we didn't have to drive two and a half hours just to go to a grocery store. Um, to where we had more options, where we had, instead of just Walmart, we had Walmart and a few other options now. It's just, it's nice. We just have more, we're just able to breathe. Because like the, the two years that we were up there, it was like, oh my gosh, every single day was just so hard. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but like in the winter time, if we wanted water, running water in our cabin and camper, both both situations Ca the cabin definitely made it a little bit easier but if we wanted water running my husband had to go and thaw out the pipes and he had to do then truck water in like i mentioned and it was just hard like the driveway was gravel and dirt and stuff so so many times we got stuck in the driveway even with a truck okay so once we moved everything just started to kind of makes sense you know it, and we appreciated everything more I think when you go through a hard time whether you put yourself in that hard time or whether it just happens you come out of it and you appreciate everything so much more I remember we appreciated the smallest things like oh my gosh I can get up in the morning and I can make myself toast and my butter is not going to be frozen on my dish on the counter. I can just cut a slice of butter and put it on my bread and that's that. I don't have to worry about thawing it out. Like being able to take a hot shower longer than five minutes because we were trucking water in like I mentioned. So we had to be very fast with our showers. Like military style. Like you scrub your hair, you scrub your body, you get out, you don't enjoy anything. If you want to shave your legs, you better do that another day if maybe if there's a little extra water it just made us so grateful to be able to just be in a house again and to be able to go in the backyard and be able to have space for our children to play so now we are here on this beautiful property with maintained trails and i seriously feel like i'm in i feel like i'm in a park sometimes i will walk around my property and expect to see people passing me on these trails and I don't because this is our property and it's just such a beautiful wonderful feeling to be able to just walk and just have a place that we can call our own again and still no neighbors but be closer to everything uh farmland you know like just being in farmland instead of just woods like we are in farm country but we have wood, so we have the best of both worlds. We're not just in a big open space. We have open spaces on our property, but it's mostly just wooded and maintained trails. It's, it's beautiful. We've been doing a lot of updates in our house, making it feel cozier, doing some repainting, um, got some furniture in there, and put some pretty wallpaper up in our bedroom, we just have our, our own space for our stuff. I was able to give our first son, Atlas, a his own room. He never got to experience his own room because when we moved from Washington, he was still a little baby and we had him in the crib in our bedroom because his, his nursery was more like a playroom because he just liked to sleep by us. And I'm a big fan of co-sleeping. <laughs> it was nice to be able to give Atlas a place to, to have his own bedroom. The other room we were able to make into a homeschool room because I am homeschooling Atlas and I do love that. I look back like I don't think I would be able to have homeschooled him so stress-free up north because of the small space and the lack of being able to put anything anywhere. Like we we came, we were so creative with our storage um, usage in that cabin and in the camper too, but in the cabin, we, we got really creative with storage and it was still just like not enough space. So I can't imagine homeschooling in there and then having a baby that started to crawl and walk and move around and run. And uh, I couldn't imagine like, I, I, I would go crazy. They would go crazy. We'd all be going crazy right now. Now I feel like I can breathe and I feel like I have 
more space and more just mental clarity. I'm able to have my homemaking habits again and have my cleaning list again that I can stick to and have a laundry room that I can do laundry in because when we were up north we had to go to the laundromat. You can't stay on top of laundry like that if you have to go an hour into town just to do laundry. It's just, it's nice. It's like, oh, I can breathe. I can relax. I don't feel like my husband is working himself so much. It is, it's a relief. Going through that experience up north was not for the week, okay? Yeah, so the other updates are, oh, I didn't even tell you my son's name. His name is Roman, and he is a beautiful little boy. I will insert a clip of him here. Also, we still have our one small little dog, Mookie, but we wanted a big dog. So now we have a big doggy. Look at my puppy, oh my goodness. This is Yahtzee. He's so big. <laughs> he's a big, big boy, and he's going to be much bigger than this. German Shepherds are awesome. In case anybody is wondering, he is so incredibly smart, and we are teaching him in a different language. We found a little pair of antlers out here that he's chewing on and loving out here in this deer blind. What else? What else? That's pretty much it, honestly. I just wanted to come in here, give an update, show you guys that I'm alive and I'm good and I'm calm and I am just so grateful for my time back and let's hope that I don't go on some crazy hiatus again I don't think I will because my husband is very very encouraging he really motivates me and pushes me to record these videos he he I want I didn't want to do it today he's like just go I'm like well I don't want to sit in the deer blind by myself and he's like well you're gonna have Yahtzee don't be afraid of our, our own property so Creating new neural pathways and sitting in a deer blind by myself during hunting season. I don't know. It's, it's cool, man. It's cool. So, yeah. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'm so glad to be back <laughs> again. But I'm, I'm, I'm back for, for real this time, you guys. For real. Like, you have to understand that the last time when I got pregnant, I got such bad morning sickness that, like, even when I wanted to record videos... I physically could not because my morning sickness was so gnarly so now I am good I'm fine I'm healthy I'm happy I'm ready to get back on YouTube and show my face again do I look different I feel like I look different I feel like I look really different from two years ago it is so windy Oh my goodness, it's blowing this door. It is blowing this door open. Sitting in front of this door here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.